Hello guys and welcome back to a sister's cooking. Today I'm going to make some veg, some vegan fish and I'm going to make it out of my banana blossom and I have the choho and I'm going to make this and this is the root of bananas tree. So this is the root of the banana where it grow out of and again this is a banana blossom thing. So what I have here is my banana blossom. It looks like a squid. Squid wet. Look at it. Heel, heel, heel. Okay, and I have this, and what I did is I had about four of them in the can. And what I did was I went ahead on and seasoned them up yesterday, and I used me some, um, I used me some Mr. Dash, the table blend. I used me original blend that I get from Aldi. That's the Aldi brand, the Mr. Dash. I also used me some. I use some Old Bay, some Old Bay um, seafood seasoning, and I use me a perica, okay? So what I did was let that sit over all, all night so it can the seasons can marry, you know, get up in there and get to know one another. And what I have here is me some coconut flour, and I have me some Louisiana fish fry. Now, y'all, you all know this right here. It's a banger. That's why my seasoning on that has no sodium because this has a little in there and I don't want it too salty. So I'm going to take that and this is my batter. So what I'm going to do with that batter is I'm going to take it and I'm going to blend me up some beer. Now, okay. So I got me some Budweiser. Yeah, and I'm going to pull that up in here. Yeah, because I don't want to use egg because this is going as a vegan fish. So you don't want to spoil it by adding some egg. So what I added in here was my beer. Look at that. I'm going to add a little more. I'm going to just put the whole beer in there. Yeah, because this is my batter. And this is what I want to fry my fish up in. My banana blossom. So I have my grease over here going. I had it on. But I didn't want to get ahead of myself because I didn't want my kitchen smoking. So it's getting ready. You hear it popping? Pop, pop. Goes my love. Yes. So, all right. Look at that batter. Looking all good, meaty, green. Look at that. Yes. So, you know me. I don't cook with sodium. So, everything got to have some flavor. So, put me a little bit more paprika in here. Just a little bit. Just to add a look. You know, look, you did put a little, just a little Old Bay seasoning in it. Just, I just want a little daffle, just a daffle, just a little bang. Wow. There you go. Not too much, not too much, because I plan on eating this. So that's the batter. Now I want to take it, and I want to put this in there. The batter real fluffy too, guys. It's like... Like the, the um the little play-doh that the kids play with. That's what it's like. Look at that. It's sticking to it too. Yeah, let me finish that off. Okay, guys, it was sticking to it. But it wasn't sticking enough. So what I did was I want to keep it a vegan dish. So I did want to add, I didn't want to add it because I added me a little water. Just a little bit. Look like I need just a little bit more. So I added me just a little water. Because I want to fry it and I want it crispy. I don't want a thick base batter on top of it. And you can't taste it. It's already a banana blossom. So. Okay, I think this is good. Look at that, guys. Yeah, I think that's good. So what I want to do is... Put that in there and let it fry. We finna see what's happening, guys. We finna see what's happening. And I'm finna make my own tartar sauce. I can't, I want to keep it vegan. I couldn't find no um no vegan yogurt. I went to a couple of stores, couldn't find it. They are sold out everywhere I went. So I'm gonna make a, a ma make me a mayonnaise. My um tartar sauce will be mayonnaise based. So I have this um. Vermis mayonnaise that I get from all this taste just like helmets to me. The best. And I'm going to use me some sweet relish. This signature from Jewels. I'm going to use me some lemon juice. Some squig of lemon. 
You can get that from pretty much everywhere, but you know I go to Aldi. And um, I got me some onions cut up already. I got me a little parsley, parsley, parsley. You already know what I got. And this is what I use for my base. I use my organic coconut flour and my Louisiana fish fry. So I'm gonna put this right here. It's frying up good, y'all. It's looking pretty good. Let me give me something to grab that old fish up out of there. Yes. Uh-huh. Frying up like some fish. Yes, baby. I'm waiting on to get done. So let me, let's do another one. Let's keep this going. Let's keep this going because you know a sister going to keep cooking. Let's keep it going. Let's keep this going, baby. So look at here. This one kind of broke up a little bit. So I'm going to kind of put it together. Yeah, that one kind of broke up a little bit. But I'm, I'm going to make it do what it do. I'm going to make it do what it do. So that one kind of broke up a little bit. Yeah, it kind of broke up a lot bit. I'm over here making some old vegan fish, y'all. Vegan fish. Thank God for Jesus. But back to this fish, all right? It's cooking good. It's smelling good. And guess what, y'all? It smells like fish. It smells like fish. I'm going to turn it over a little bit. I don't fry my fish in a lot of deep frying. So I want to turn it over a little bit. Just turn it over a little bit. And let it go for what it know. Okay, guys. So what happened was, I had got a little smoky in here. So I, what I had to do is I had to do smoke control. Because it had got a little smoky in here. All right. So this the fish over here frying. The banana blocks. And this one right here, I think I might have got old cooked him. But what I did is what I did is I went ahead on and added me some more. So this is the batter right here that we made. So what I did was I added me some more of the coconut flour to the side so I could put me some on there because it seemed like the crispiness wasn't coming out. You know, it wasn't looking like no fish to me. So what I did, I had to add me some more flour to it, some coconut flour. So I don't want to crowd my skillet. Ain't nothing over there but about two or three of them. Two of them cooking now. And you want to be careful with it because they can easily tear apart. They so delicate. I'm going to see what it tastes like. Now, y'all... If it don't taste right, I'm gonna tell y'all it don't taste right. I'm gonna tell you, if it ain't right, it ain't right. If it's not right, it ain't right. And I ain't gonna tell y'all, oh, it's good. It's all that. And then y'all be calling me a liar. Mm -mm. I'm gonna let you know if it ain't right. So I add the flour to that. So now I'm gonna put this one in there. Like a, a tilapia. It ain't a perch or a catfish like a tilapia. And it got something to do with that old southern spin on that mix I put on there too. I seasoned mine like I would season some chicken with a little bit of, you know, twist on some fish, but we're gonna do it. And it ain't, it ain't no bad taste. It's not a bad taste. Now this is the rest of the ones that broke apart. I make that to a little fish patty, I guess. 
of them broke on the car. Keep it together. Keep it in the fountain. Yeah, and I want to add this in there. See, that one broke apart. So maybe that'll be some type of fish, little dumpling or something. Okay, guys. I'm back. I had a smoky in here. It was smoky, like smoky in the bandit. So now what I'm finna do is I'm finna make my tartar sauce. Bang, 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 bang. Yeah, we're gonna get some tartar sauce. I can let you in here. Okay. So this is what I'm finna do. This is my homemade tartar sauce. I had a little bit too many onions, so I got some onions in here. I got about a tablespoon of onions. I got about a tablespoon and a half of this meal. Yeah, would you be a doll? Have mommy a, 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 a fork, please. Can you please? And I'm finna add me some lemon juice up in here. I'm adding it. So I say this is about a teaspoon of lemon juice. I'm putting me a little pickle relish in there, sweet pickle relish, so I don't have to add no sugar to it. And you all already know, I, I'm going I'm to put me some parsley, parsley in that. Now, I don't care what nobody else say. Y'all can talk about me behind my face, but you behind my back. You would not do it in my face, okay? So, we're going to blend that on up a little bit. Yes. Yes. Let's see what that tastes like. for years. I'd be like, this lady just mixed up anything just to make a plate. But she knew what she was up to. She was on the song because I just made that title song. You all just saw it. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to plate this cake. I got me some, some spinach over here. I got me some carrots. I got me a little croutons. Got me some tomatoes. And again, I love onions, so I'm going to give me some onions. So I got me a little salad right here. And let me get that fish. Let's plate this skate. Mmm. Look, guys. There you have it. Watch out now. Let me show y'all this. There you have it. Some vegan fish. Your sister ain't playing with you. I got some vegan fish with me a little side salad. And we're going to taste it. We're going to taste this. Come on, Jerry. Taste it with your mama. Do it. Yeah. I knew you You were never too far. He's never too far, guys. When you say, look at it coming here. Get some food. Look at this, guys. And Cheetos on fire. Look at this. This is our vegan fish. Look at that. Look at it, guys. Vegan fish. Y'all want to taste it? Yes. Yeah. That was good. It's cheese. It's kind of it. No, it ain't cheese. Yeah. Here, taste that. It got a little tartar sauce on it. Here, you good. Here, man. Here's your little piece. That's fish. No, it tastes like you're doing it. I got to say, on the junk piece of this dog. I mean, that tastes like chicken. It, I said we could use it. See, guys, my nephew said chicken. It, it, we can use it as chicken, but because I seasoned it with my old bait, it gives it a fish flavor. It's good, ain't it? See, you know it's good when the kids stay, they eating the crumbs. This is my take on my vegan fish. What's that? That's that banana blossom. That's that banana blossom. I taste it. And that's my tartar sauce I made. And thanks for joining me again. And don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. And do not forget to hit that button cupcake, right? Yeah, and click all. And she said click all. This is my girl. This is my media girl. She said click all. 
So don't you all forget. And thanks again for watching a sister cooking, baby. Again, we done had us some vegan fish.